So tip number one is the snip, snip, snip. So first, you definitely are gonna wanna start off with shears that are meant for your hair. And those are what are called shears and not scissors. Because if you just wanted craft scissors, you go to Michael's and that's not what you, you don't use that on your hair. Get shears, those are made for your hair and you'll like it a lot better. So for 2020, we're gonna all go get our shears. You, you're gonna get your shears, I'm gonna get my shears. And we're gonna get rid of those last four years. We're gonna get rid of the last couple months. New year, new us, we're gonna start over. So tip number two is products with slip. So I have some really thick conditioners, butters, stylers, and I never really noticed that they didn't have slip until 2020. Now in 2019, things were perfect, so I didn't really care about the slip, just nourishment. Now 2020, my ends and breakage were so bad that I could barely detangle my hair. And that's when Curl Mix came into play. Their products have nourishment, but they also have tons of slip. So once my hair started breaking off, I was at least able to detangle with their products because of the slip. Now my hair is fine with the slip and the nourishment has made detangling my type for hair so easy. And they even have one of those fun detangler brushes that works on 4C hair. Link will be in the description box for what I use specifically during that time. So tip number three is making sure that you deep condition. Make sure that there's a deep conditioner in your routine so that you're making time to detangle your hair, to get in it and make sure that there's no knots, there's no tangles, and make sure that it's a deep, uh, deep conditioner that has a lot of slips like the Curl It Mix products. But if you deep condition like you're supposed to, which is after shampooing and before styling, then you're getting in there weekly and you're making sure that there's nothing that can get caught and broken off or too dry during the week so you won't have the problem of breakage. So tip number four is changing your diet. So for me during the quarantine, I was not eating as much at home as other people were. When other people were complaining about having a bad intake and it was affecting their hair negatively, I was having that same problem but on the opposite spectrum. I was not eating a lot and I wasn't even drinking a lot. But since I wasn't getting that water intake and I wasn't getting that nourishing food intake, my hair was suffering on top of everything else, on top of it being damaged from me laying on it and not taking proper care of it, from it being dry, from me not putting topical nourishments on it. I wasn't giving myself any inside nourishments for my hair and that is a big deal because no matter what you put on your hair, what you're taking inside is what's really going to help when your hair grows from the follicle out down to your shoulders and you want it to be nice and pretty, you have to take those good things in. So, I know 4C hair can be difficult, but we got this. Let me know what your struggles are so we can get your kinks the help they need. Comment down below, tell us about your COVID, pre-COVID, pre-before, after election struggles with your hair. And share this video with a friend who's going through the same things. Bye guys!